New COVID-19 numbers in Texas are in. Today, there were 6,755 new cases across the state, bringing the total in the state to 513,575, including those that have recovered. There were 255 more deaths reported today. Today, the first day of school for multiple school districts across Central Texas. KVU's Derenisha Heron spoke with a Pflugerville ISD teacher about the first day. If you choose not to turn on your video, I would really appreciate um, a picture. From introductions to empty chairs, the first day of school at Pflugerville High School looks very different than last year. With new resources that the district has provided, really opened up a lot of opportunities to make it more rigorous and uh, value added for students, not just simply filling out a Google form. Pflugerville ISD kicked off virtual learning today and Principal Amika Hunt said online attendance looked good. Our kids are showing up. They're participating in Zooms. All of our teachers have created websites so that we still stay connected to our kids. Elective teacher Autumn Hendrickson said while they are more prepared than they were in the spring. Is everybody able to get into the Jamboard? No, Tito having an issue. Her first freshman class of the day hit some obstacles, but she was able to maneuver around it. Okay, let's do this. Does everybody have a piece of paper? Um, some kids don't have like the same connection access that others do, so um, sometimes they might have to turn off their video feed in order for the audio feed to to be more clear. Lago Vista and Leander ISD also started virtual learning today. A technical issue forced Leander district leaders to cancel the first two days of virtual learning for all high school students. While schools still have some kinks to work out, Henderson sees the positive side of online learning. Kids are more comfortable, like maybe if they um, if they weren't answering so many questions, but they feel really comfortable putting their questions in a chat. If the Texas Education Agency guidelines are met, Leander, Lago Vista, and Pflugerville ISDs are expected to start in-person classes the first couple of weeks of September. In Pflugerville, Darren Shaharan, KVU News.